people don't want a portrait. You're a boy. Do you want one? Ooh, you want it? Is that Hermione? It's not Hermione. Get out of Hermione. You look like you'd be a girl that wanted it. Uh, hi. They keep talking about detention with Lockhart. Maybe you want it. Stop talking about the men! Detention with Lockhart. Where'd this go? You look like someone would want it. Um. Stop talking about detention. All right, I'm just gonna come back when I found the girl. day for you to do that to um what what do I for you to do the training sequence so let's get this started let's talk to Professor Lockhart hello Harry we must pay the price for our escape pad you know I think I'd rather enjoy searching my signed photos I'd rather trim Miss Nurse class. Oh, but before we start, I'm starting a dueling club here in Hogwarts. Interested? What's a dueling club? Under the supervision of teachers, students practice casting the pill on each other. At the end of the term, the dueling champion will be awarded a prize. The dueling club room is located near the entrance hall. Step by if you want to win. You'll be able to get in some good practice and spend more time with me. So let's get started. Now, make sure you sort my photos by brilliance and with a smile. It's gonna be day yet? Yes. Now the person will be there for the training sequence. That's all then, Professor. Well then, detention complete. Go thou and fly cars no more. Hope to see you at the dueling club. So now you just go back to standing there. Harry, Wood says to report to the Quidditch pitch for practice. But I was helping Professor Lockhart all night. I haven't even slept yet. Don't worry, the wind on your face will bring you around. What? Oh, sigh. Alright. Are we on the third floor? There should be someone here. Aha, you're the first one I was looking for. Why did Mr. Phillips take away my picture away? I said I was sorry for upsetting his dustpan. I have your picture. Would you like it back? One, anything. Oh, yay. I got a flashlight. A flashlight? Why would you have this in Hogwarts? Mom and Dad are non-magical folks. They thought I need it. I was going to give it to the non-magical studies class. Non-magical studies might be a good place for it. Thanks. And now we have to find non-magical studies. History of magic. Non-magical studies. Up there on the fifth floor. Let's go. Let's go up to the fifth floor. We need that fifth floor. You want me on that fifth floor? You need me on that fifth floor. Here's the fourth floor. Floor number four. Floor. I don't know what it is in Spanish. Now, let's go. And this guy should. Oh, hello. I got a harmonica. 
No, it's my own, but I can't play at all. I was going to give to the music class. It's kind of the thing they treasure. Okay, thanks. Alright, now we have to find the music classroom. Oh, it's right there. Right there. And now that guy will want it. Hello, is the music professor here? No, but I'm his classroom monitor. Can I help you? I have harmonica. Oh, I got a harmonica. Let me give you something. A magic whistle that blows itself. People have trouble staying awake often. People who have trouble staying awake have one of these. That's what he said, right? Russell Binns is always dozing off. Maybe he'd like this. So we have to go to History of Magic. And this is almost over. Binns' office. So one floor down. Oof. And I'm excited for 1.8. <laughs> I seem kind of random, but I am. So, Ben's. Maybe he's in this classroom. Is his classroom here? It might be. There he is. He's a nice, he's a weird ghost. What? A bat? Can I flee? Ow. Stop it. Stop it right now. A. Yay, I'm out. I would swear that him. Oh, this is. Which is, which is how apricots lost their agri geographical aptitude. Hello, Professor Ben. Sorry I woke you up. Perfectly all right, Mr. Potter. People wake me up all the time. If they only had advice to keep me awake, like one of those whistles that blow itself. I have one right here. One what? A self-blowing whistle. Here you go. Thanks awfully, Mr. Potter. Your generosity deserves to be rewarded. That is a genuine dragon skin cloak there. There are a few like it. Not the sort of thing one... I don't know what he said. So now we're done. We have... Alright, what do you do? Stash. Wait a minute. What do we do with the cloak? He gave me the cloak. What do I do? Alright, I'll come back after I finish. Figure out what to do. Alright, turns out. But you can equip it. So, let's go to Quidditch practice. We gonna go to Quidditch practice and we gonna get, uh, Quidditch. <laughs> I think I remember the Quidditch practices. I better. And if you didn't see, it gave me a lot of defense and stuff like that. Who's that? Oh, hello, young Potter. Sigh. Hello, Nick. You look like something's on your mind. You would think being hit 45 times in the neck with an axe would be enough, wouldn't you? I'd be satisfied with far fewer. Well, it isn't enough for the only headless hunt. Hunt, only half an inch of skin holding my head on, but they turn me down again and again. What's the headless hunt? A yearly sporting event for ghosts. Everybody who's any and headless is a member. The ghost who runs it, Sir Patrick Delaney, Podmore, has rejected me for years. You'd think I had sev several heads, all friendly bottled, uh, bolted on. It doesn't seem fair. I wish I could help somehow. Hmm, perhaps you can. This Halloween, 
It's the 500th anniversary of my death, and I'll be throwing a death day party in that dungeon. Oh, you need help blowing out all those candles. Not quite, but if you came, it might impress the other ghosts enough that they'd include me in this headless hunt. I'd be glad to come. Oh, thank you, Harry. Hermione and Ron are invited too, of course. I'll tell them. See you later, Nick. Goodbye, Nick. Go to Quidditch practice. Apparently, we get to go to his death day party. Alright, is Quidditch down here? I think it's down to the right. This is it. Please be it. Oh, crap. Yes! I found my way. Alright, alright, let's... let's the Oliver Wood. There you are, Potter. Ready for practice? Oh, oh look, oh look, got the snitch. I am crazy good at Quidditch. Good way to preserve, prepare for the season. Practice over, Potter. On your way then. That was quick. You completed your second quiz bags. There's a new card combo available in the card collector's club room. Nick's death day party will be starting soon. I better find Ron and Hermione. Alright, I'm gonna show you what the dueling club. And then we'll wrap up this episode. Well, I never seen this. Informus! you know about this enemy? Oh. That seems like fire would do a lot to it. 53! Since I did 53, I can probably just cast a uh, Level 1. Oh, I didn't kill it. I hope I level up so all my stuff comes back. Not inform us again. Die. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go to the dueling club. Yes. Dueling club is pretty awesome. I think it's over here. Yes, there it is right there. And you can duel each a year of each student. So I'll just duel the first year. Hi, Harry. I'm your first opponent. Want to duel? Oh, crap. I have, like, no spells. Let's cast the second one on you. Only 17. Bah. I don't die. I crush little kids. Zero. You were no match for me. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna win on the next hit. He reminds me of me when I was just a small little Harry. Oh yeah, I win. I better level up. Still didn't level up. Got a new card. I want to check his status. To next level. It's like one more fight. And I found out the cloak is about 15,000 sickles, so. I, pretty, I like this cloak. So, we will complete the Petrificus Totalis Club. The Petrific Totalis quest next time, and we'll also go to his death day party. See you next time on Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets.